So we just got back from our family vacation and we gotta go around, check on everybody, get a bunch of stuff done that needs to be done here on the farm. A lot of chores we gotta do today, so y'all come along with us. Did you miss us? Uh, did you miss us, girl? You make sure everything was okay. Nobody got in trouble. No late night parties. Nothing. Thanks, girl. No, we can count on you. What's up, y'all? Jason over here at Kai Kill. We are back from being on our family vacation. We usually take one or two a year. We just save our money up, depending on where we go, how much we need to save. This year, we went to Universal. Actually, we've gone to Universal Studios two years in a row, and we just absolutely love it. Yeah, Mary Carl loves it. She loves riding rides. I love riding rides. Mrs. Kai Kill don't love riding rides. But we had a wonderful time, but now we're back. I got a bunch of stuff that we got to do today. So y'all come along with us and I'll show you how we kind of do things right before we go on vacation. Tip! Razzle Dazzle! Bootsy! Topper! What's going on everybody? What's going on? Big Thomas! What's up Tommy? You guys glad we're back? Did y'all miss us? Y'all ready to eat this morning? All right. Now what we do with the goat's hay is to keep, you know, people from coming in here to help because, you know, these guys can get crazy. Uh, they're not big or anything like that, but still, someone's not, you know, good with goats or been around goats. You know, they, they could possibly knock the feet out of your hand, bump you, that kind of thing. So, what we did is, is we bought some square bales. I got this little platform built out of pallets. We put a square bale up here and cut it open. And they had access to hay the entire time we were gone. So no one had to come in here and fill up these hay feeders every day. If the hay was happened to be gone, they could go in there and fill them up, but that didn't happen. Mr. Scott, he, he not a morning person. Chickens, what's going on, chickens? What's happening? Come on in. What is going on? Quite noisy this morning. Yeah. Oh, we got to clean their waters out. What we like to do is, and I did a whole video about this one, uh, maybe last year or so, about what we do to prepare when we go on vacation, or if we do leave the farm for a few days, and we just overkill. Like, if we have one automatic water for a place, we may put two automatic waters, and then some regular old, your typical chicken waters. And also what we like to do is, is, is we'll put out a bunch of kiddie pools and fill them up with water too, just in case something happens and they have an emergency water source. And we just do that with everybody. The same with feeders. We'll have it set up where we'll have way more feed than they typically get. Also what we like to do is, is just make it as easy as we can for the people that are taking care of the farm while we're gone. So we just overkill it, overkill it, overkill it, and make it so easy for everybody. Rabbits! Did y'all miss us, rabbits? So what I did with the rabbits is, is I, um, 
I just told them to fill up the feeders and keep the fill, uh, feeders filled. I generally don't do that. Uh, I give the rabbits a cup of feed a day, but then I got mamas with babies, and usually I keep those filled up. And so to keep it simple, instead of saying, hey, fill these up, I'm gonna give these a cup, blah, 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 just fill them all up. And the waters, those five gallon buckets will last three days, but we told them to check them every other day and just top them off every other day. That way the rabbits always had water. So that's how we handle the rabbits. The main thing is, is just keeping it simple and easy for whoever is helping out. But now the issue with rabbits is, is I clean them out usually twice a week. So it's been a few days and so, I know I got some manure that fixing to go in the garden. <laughs> Nothing like rabbit compost. Let's go check on the bees, which, you know, no one really did anything with the bees, but I still want to check on them. Let's go check out the garden. I know I probably got some butternut squash that need to be picked. Do I have any more pole beans here? Or can we pull these up? That's the question. Pole beans on this section are looking fairly slim. There's a few. I'll have to check that out. Oh yeah, that one's ready. That one looks ready. Those are ready. I see another one over there that's ready. Oh, let's pick these bad boys. Let's see what else we got. Those aren't ready. That one looks ready, ready, ready. Booyah! Boy, if that don't make me happy. You know, I was a little bit worried about the garden because I baby it a whole bunch. You know, I was gone for a few days. And so, you know, I was a little bit tad worried about it. Now I did, oh, got a tomato turning red. Squirrel! It all looks good. So, let's go look at the tomatoes. Y'all check this out. Look at that. Look at them. Yes, sir. These darn things are looking awesome. Uh, I'm gonna have to weed in here. And I'm gonna do a uh, video this week on how I control weeds and how I handle weeds. I'm gonna have to put uh, some post up for these sun goals. Man, they are just, I don't know, I may grow them like that. Got one, look at here. Look at there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's good right there. All y'all out there are telling me those sun goes are awesome. Y'all went in line because they're awesome. But the garden looks wonderful. The garden looks wonderful. Today is a day that I do fertilize and spray, so I'll get that knocked out. But I'm totally happy that the garden is in great shape. I couldn't ask for, couldn't ask for it to be any better. Let's pick that butternut squash. Here and talk to my my babies and see if um make sure they're okay and you know tell them we're back. Hey babies, y'all doing okay? Everybody good? Anybody anybody miss me? Y'all look marvelous, absolutely stunning. Hey guys, if you want to see that entire video of what we do before we go on vacation, check out this video right over here. If you're interested in any Cog Hill Farm gear like this old Snap shirt, check out that link right down below. And if you're new to the channel, like what you see, 
hit that subscribe button right here. We would love to have you. Y'all be good. Boom, boom, boom.